Hi everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me. Today I've got a fun birthday card to share with you using some Altenew goodies. I'm starting with the Sketchy Cities America 2 stamp set. And it's got this beautiful Seattle skyline in it, which I love. I've never been to Seattle, but I do love the skyline. I'd love to go there someday. And um, anyway, if you haven't seen, Altenew has several of these Sketchy Cities uh, sets. I have the one that's Manhattan and Boston. If I was from Boston, I would call this a birthday cod. But anyway, uh, what I did was I took my Seattle skyline, I embossed it in clear onto some Nina Solar White. Now I masked off a strip or a stripe with some post-it tape, and I am ink blending. So I'm doing an, an emboss resist. I'm starting with the darkest color of the Seashore ink pad collection. This one's emerald. I really wanted to blend that emerald as dark as I could get it. I'm doing a nice embossed resist with a gradient type of stripe design. So I'm doing the next color in that Seashore collection, which is Lagoon. So you got Emerald, Lagoon, uh, Volcano Lake, and Mountain Mist. So I had this idea. I was trying to be all snazzy-like, like all creative and impress everybody with my stripe background. But by the time I got to Volcano Lake, which is the ink color, by the way. I sound like I'm trying to tell some expedition I went on. By the time I got to Volcano Lake, I saw those bison over there by the mountain mist. Anyway, I had lost my stripes. They were all faded. They lost their hard edge. So I chucked the whole impressive stripe idea, and I just went for a smooth, seamless, gradient background. I was trying to rescue my mistake here. And, but I got to tell you, I was super impressed with these Altenew inks because I had masked off stripes. And by the time I had worked this puppy over, you could, it was seamless as can be. So I got to tell you, and I normally only ever say this about pigment inks, but these Altenew dye inks, they blend like butter. They really do. They truly do. And so I went over it with a dry paper towel just to really make my white embossing pop. Now we're moving on to the sentiment. I've got this happy birthday word die, which has got this beautiful handwritten scripty look to it. I've got some luxurious silver foil cardstock here. Now what I realize I've been telling myself I need to do this for a long time. But what I need to do is get a metal shim. I think it would really help when you have super detailed die cuts like that. Anyhow, I went ahead, did like four or five with white cardstock, and then I've got the one with silver. And I'm using my spray adhesive to layer these up to make it a nice, thick, sturdy, dimensional word die cut. I like to do that. I just think it gives it more oomph. A uh, quick little update on the New Year happenings over here. My last video, I talked about making the breakfast egg muffins in the tins. You can make them ahead and eat them for the morning. Trying to get all healthy. I made little smoothie, DIY smoothie packets to keep in the freezer. And I will say, the next day, my two older daughters and myself, we ate the eggs and we made the smoothies. And so we were feeling it. The younger two... They wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole, would not touch it. And my kids, I struggle because they're just not hungry in the morning. And I try, you know, try to be the good mom, give them a healthy breakfast, and they just don't want to eat anything. And what are you going to do? You know what I mean? What are you going to do? So uh, moving on to the card, I put some soft stone stripe pattern paper on my card base. Then I popped up that whole panel. I put some fun foam on the back of that. And then I've got my uh, dimensional word die cut here using some glossy accents to adhere that down so that it's nice and strong. And then just to finish it off, a little something something, I've got these gorgeous ice cube gemstones in the three different sizes. Those are by uh, Little Things by Lucy, and this card is finished. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.